Hello and welcome to Overlord Escape from Nazarick. And this is a new 2D action adventure game set in the Overlord universe. And if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. This video is kindly sponsored. And I gotta say, I'm actually really excited about this game because generally, I am a huge fan of Overlord and I've I don't think I don't think I've said this before. Maybe I have in some random comment somewhere or another in one of my videos, but I absolutely love Overlord and the universe, the characters, all that stuff. I've read some of the light novels. I've seen every episode of the anime and all that stuff. So, yeah, it is definitely something for me. This is one of the things that I really, really like. Now, here's the thing. This is a Metroidvania game. Yeah, so for me specifically, I'm not that good at Metroidvania, but I've actually been having a whale of a time with this game, which is uh, kind of rare for me. It's kind of rare for me because Metroidvania is a bit... Mm, I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say it's not really my genre, but I'm going to say it's not really my genre. It needs a very specific kind of gameplay for me to really get on with it in a, um, shall we say, somewhat more friendly way, you see. So now, here's the thing. Escape from Nazarick does a lot of things really, really well, and as far as I can tell, it doesn't actually do anything really bad. And for me, I absolutely adore the way they've done the traversal system. Uh, I'm going to explain more about the traversal system. You can see here. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I am actually going to be starting a new game after this, just so that I can actually show you the beginning of the game and to see, you know, just how the upgrades work and all that stuff. I mean, obviously, I can just show you these upgrades right now, but... Um, I have a lot of weapons. I have a lot of weapons. I have a lot of ways to do damage. I have found a lot of statistic upgrades as well for Clementine. And um, obviously, if you've seen the anime or you've read the you've read the novels, then you will know who Clementine is. But now here's the thing. I've seen a couple of people remarking on why we're playing as an antagonist because Clementine is actually an antagonist of the main character Eins Ulgaun and yeah you would think well why are you playing as her well the the story goes that she has been captured by the forces of Nazarick and they are now running experiments in regards to her her memories have been wiped and uh, the, these are taking form in the case of collectibles so you are going to be able to uh, pick up uh, memory fragments and these are basically excerpts or small little reminders of what actually happened in the anime itself um, which is in my opinion very cool obviously for me being a fan of the um, of the universe and of the uh, the source material I cannot get enough of this. Obviously, season four of Overlord is on the way very, very soon, in actual fact. And um, yeah, this is definitely my kind of game. I, I really, really enjoy this. And if you don't, if this is not your thing, then that's perfectly understandable. That is very, very understandable indeed. You don't have to like this. But for me, I love it. I really, really do. And I'm going to be using the Assassin's Dagger now. This is actually a new dagger that I've just gained. Um, basically, what you do is your main your main weapon is going to be your stiletto. This is Clementine's favorite weapon. Uh, she uses these in the anime. Very, very deadly weapons for her. And uh, you can only use magic while you have her stiletto equipped. Everything else is something that you're going to have to switch switch around. So for example, I'm using the Assassin's Dagger right now. You can see here, look at, the, look at that Assassin's Dagger right there. It actually has an extremely long range, as you can see from the, um, from the little particle coming out from it. And uh, for me, that's amazing. I, I really like that a great deal. Did I just go there just to get that upgrade or is there actually something else going on over here? I, I think it is just that. Let me actually just see. No, it is just that. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, not exactly what I wanted, but okay, that's that's absolutely fine, yeah. Okay, so now, technically, what I should do is I should try, if I can, uh, I'm bad at this. Okay, let me see. If 
Boom, boom, there we go. And I did not grab onto the vine, of course. Yeah, so the traversal system. The traversal system is actually very, very good. And what it does is it pretty much teaches you to deal with a variety of situations. And every single one of your buttons is used for that, for that purpose. So for example, I, I right now am doing a terrible job at actually showcasing that. Um, <laughs> generally, you want to do this and you, you, want to, you want to jump like so. And then you want to get onto the other side like that. And then you want to jump up, yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do first, uh, first time. Yeah, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, I guess that's the reason why I have so much HP, right? Yeah, that's, that's the reason why I have so much HP. Anyway. The other thing that you can do, of course, is to do things like this, where you can jump, you can kind of swing around. So what you can do is you can do this. Uh, <laughs> oh, why does it always go back? Ah, there we go. That's what, see, that's what I wanted to do. That is what I wanted to do. So what you can actually do is for these horizontal sections of wood, I guess you could kind of call them, because you have a Morningstar weapon, and the Morningstar is also capable of grabbing items for you, and you can also interact with a variety of different, mm, I wouldn't say environments, but I would say different surfaces, and those surfaces are then going to enable you to wall jump and you can uh, grapple onto them as well, that kind of thing. Now, Clementine actually has a very interesting way of doing things. You can see here, she actually talks to herself, basically, and that gives the player, i.e. me at this point, a small hint about what I should actually do. So for example, a dead end, hang on, there's something different about the floor in here. And you can see here, look at this, boom. Yeah, so this, this now uh, obviously, gave way and now we have the ability to continue onward and go in a different direction now i'm currently in the third biome that's actually something else that i wanted to mention too there are different biomes in the game you first start off in a very classic oh hello there okay that is that it that will not do at all sir that will not do at all okay um yes anyway uh, you first start off in like the classic castle area, as you might expect. Obviously, you are going to be in Nazarick, so obviously you're going to expect to be uh, surrounded by walls and various other things. I'm actually going to use my fire magic here to try and deal with this troll. Unfortunately, I don't do too much damage with fire magic, but you can see here that, you know, that doesn't really matter because you can just go crazy with it and uh, really, really fast damage uh, with that, even though it is very, very weak. And you can also use environmental attacks as well. As you can see right there, I actually cut the rope of this boulder here, and now I'm actually able to go through like so and pick up some of these things, get some health back. This is one of the collectible pieces as well, as you see right there, Memory Fragment 92. I believe there are actually, I would assume 100 fragments that you can collect, not entirely sure, but yeah. So the first biome is basically a castle. We're gonna be taking a look at that um, soon-ish. So as soon as I've um, maybe found the boss, you know, it might be kind of fun to actually fight another boss. We've fought two bosses so far, or I have fought two bosses so far. And I'm actually gonna just show you something real fast. So here are my upgrades at the moment. These are obviously, if you are familiar with the Overlord universe, they are called martial arts. And there are a variety of different ones. I only have three of them available at the moment. Greater Evasion, Impenetrable Fortress, and Ability Boost. Now, bear in mind that there are six in total, as you can see, obviously, pretty clearly, and they will give you varying benefits. Now, obviously, the first two that you get, Ability Boost and Impenetrable, For Impenetrable Fortress, they're basically just passives. So it's not really that interesting, but they are very, very useful. You are going to need these things. You are going to need HP increases and so on and so forth. And you can avoid upgrades as well. In other words, you can miss them. You need to explore the world and see if you can find them as best you can. Anyway, these are the memories right here. And you can see here, uh, for example, uh, this is what Clementine uh, looked like in the anime. 
And you can see here that she's fighting, uh, well, I, I, should I spoil? <laughs> I'm actually not sure if you, I mean, if you're, if you're going to watch it, then obviously I don't want to spoil it. But let's just say that uh, the main character goes into battle versus Clementine and uh, yeah, it's a whole bunch of fun. And uh, it's absolutely, yeah, it's one of the best scenes in the first series. I think it is the first series. It's been a while. Need to rewatch it probably before season four. But yeah, whatever the case, it's great. I love this. Uh, this is just literally made for me. I mean, it's made for every fan, I, I think. And generally, if you're not, if you're not a fan, then well, you, you, you probably don't care about this either way. But I personally do. I really, really like it. And uh, a mushroom, get out of here. Yeah, mushrooms are actually surprisingly powerful. Yeah, so I've already um, defeated the first boss and the second one. I am not going to spoil who they were. Oh, dead end. Okay, yeah, well, uh, this is a save point. Uh, so that's actually fine. I can just do this. And is, is it really a dead end, though? Is it really a dead end? Uh, yeah, I guess it is kind of. But because it is a Metroidvania, eventually you are going to be able to explore most of these areas without uh, too much difficulty because the uh, thing with Metroidvania is that whenever you're exploring, you think to yourself, ah, yes, I would love to be able to go there and explore this and do that and so on and so forth. But obviously most of the time you're not going to be able to because you don't have the required ability. And obviously that doesn't, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because eventually you are going to get that ability, but it is definitely something to bear in mind. Ah, I literally just got dropped into the acid. How wonderful. That that goblin is going to pay. Take that, goblin. And I will now just recover some fireball. But you, yeah, fireball uses. Like, that's going to make any difference to me. Um, oh, yeah. I should also um, probably mention that my current spell at the moment makes me immune to its damage. So, for example, if you have a fire spell equipped, like I do at the moment, then you are immune to fire damage. However, later down the line, you're going to be unlocking more, more different kinds of magic, and you're then going to be immune to that kind of magic, but not immune to fire once again. So you have to be a little bit careful about those kinds of things. Uh, Clementine also has the ability to lockpick doors and you saw me open this door right here and do that so she does have the ability to do that and haha -ha, hello there you absolute uh, yes these guys get them there we are okay so yeah ah uh, no 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 dead end no dead end clementine not this time at least thank you so let's go this way um but yeah generally it is very classic Metroidvania. They allow you to have traversal mechanics like with the Morningstar. There are also various points. You you can't actually wall jump freely. So if I wanted to jump on this wall right here and wall jump away, I can't do that, which is a little disappointing. I got to say, I actually really love the ability. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, this is one of my stilettos. How to get in here of all places. Yeah, that's actually really strange. That means I have two now? Oh, now that's cool. Okay, that is actually really, really cool. Because I, I remember that she did actually have two in the anime, obviously. But um, yeah, that has... I, I fully upgraded my stilettos as well. Um, yeah, so that's obviously quite cool and, and very nice. So let me just gain some fireball uses back. It seems like I have now cleared the way by cutting the rope of that boulder. And uh, yeah, so there is no... Um, there is no free free wall jumping or anything like that. There are certain points where you can wall jump, and I think that actually improves the experience, I've got to say, because it makes you think, oh, this is where I need to go, that's what I need to do, um, but how do I do it? You know, it's kind of a bit more of like a puzzle rather than a free roaming experience sort of thing. Which I, I do appreciate that, actually, because it is an experiment after all. I mean, I have met, uh, met Eins. He's been, uh, been you know, taunting me a little bit as Clementine, basically saying, you are our experiment and we have to figure out what, you know, what, what's, what's going on with you kind of thing. And uh, they're testing Clementine with a whole wide variety of different stimuli and enemies and so on. But we have no idea what is actually going to transpire here. 
So let's just break that boulder, have that down, go, have that go down here. I'm actually kind of intrigued about what the story is actually going to lead to, to be honest, because I'm a, as I say, I, I very much love this world and I would like to know what's actually going on because, uh, spoiler, uh, you don't really know what happens to Clementine in the anime. Uh, I think they might go into it a little bit more in the books, but not that much. So it's kind of cool to explore that, or at least I think it's cool to explore that that possibility and what has actually happened. All right, let me see if I can actually deal with this wolf. Ah, uh, yeah, of course I'm gonna get hit. Uh, it's fine though, because we have a lot of HP and that's kind of the reason why I, I said, hey, you know what? You probably wanna try and get as much HP as you can get your hands on because it is going to be very, very useful. If you are like me, and you do tend to take quite a bit of damage. It is going to help you a lot. So yeah, otherwise, let's just continue onward. And I'm sure I will be getting to the first, well, no, not the first boss, the first boss of this particular, this particular video, shall we say, because technically it's the third boss. But uh, yeah, that's actually something to bear in mind as well. The amount of content here is actually quite a lot. And I, w I wouldn't have expected that. I would have expected a reasonable amount, you know, I would have expected something like, I don't know, four hours worth maybe, but there's actually a lot more than that here, I believe. Because you can see down in the bottom bottom left, my current timer. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's been with me not being particularly good at platforming, me wasting a little bit of time here and there. So if you're particularly good at these kinds of games, you know, Metroidvania, platforming, and so on and so forth, then you will maybe be a bit faster than me. Aha! There is, there is the boss. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah. Now, what I have to really say, I have enjoyed a lot being, yeah, obviously being a fan. I have really enjoyed seeing the dialogue. And now here's the thing. This is not voice acted in any way, which... I don't blame them for. I don't I don't think it needs to be voice acted to be honest because if you've seen the anime, you know how these characters sound, you know how they speak, and in my opinion the dialogue and how the script is written, it's very in keeping. They have it down pat. They have captured the characters' likeness and and their personalities very very well. At least in my opinion. Anyway, Let's just move on here, and we're going to be saving just before we go into the boss. I can assume that this is going to be, this is going to be the boss. Isn't it? Maybe? Yep, here it is. Sorry to keep you waiting, Hamuske. I hope you weren't bored. I don't know about you, but I'm sick to death of hide and seek. So how about we play something else? And they all have different fonts as well, by the way. Hmm. Foolish intruder, and walks right into my trap you have. Go, my minions, take her down. Ah, yes, it seems like we're not going to be fighting him just yet, but we now have the ability to face, uh, well, enemies. <laughs> uh, other enemies. Ah, oh, there's a basilisk. Oh, fantastic. Ah, yes, yes. I love the basilisk. Okay, let's just try and kill the basilisk as soon as possible because it does stun us. There we go. Not too bad. And we can recover some HP and then we can move on. And I believe maybe in the next area we'll be able to... Ah, there's the key. Okay, yeah. So um, you're going to be able to pick up keys throughout the game and these keys will enable you to unlock various upgrades and, and, and so on. So for example, ah, get, get out of there, there we go. All right, so for example, this, this allows me to go in here and I actually have no idea where I am right now. Wait a minute, where, where is this? <laughs> where is this, where, where am I right now? Oh, I was inside, I was inside the Colosseum. Oh, that's cool, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, uh, mm, that's a very memorable, memorable scene as well. So if you remember that from the uh, from the anime. Okay, uh, let me see. Can I? 
Can I get it? Oh, I don't think I can actually get that just yet. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, so mana, which is your resource, is going to be used for a variety of different things. So, for example, these gates right here, these mirrors, whatever you want to call them, they're, they're kind of gates, I guess. You can use these to travel to any other gate that you have unlocked. And there are, a, uh, I, I, think, um, I think I've unlocked four so far, so it's, it's pretty pretty good fast travel system and you also have these which are basically your forges i think you've seen me use one of these before and uh, generally i don't think i want to do anything else i've upgraded everything that i really want to so i don't think i really need to do anything more and we can now move on here oh yeah so this, uh, the, these little torches and things like that, they do carry a small amount of resources. So if you do want to attack them to get them, then obviously you can. You know, no one's stopping you. And uh, mana is always useful, as I say. Ah, hello there. Yes, there he is. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah. I, I do have to actually special, sort of special mention right here. When Clementine first meets Hamuske... Um, she basically says, oh, the wise king of the forest, you must be very powerful. And, um, and, and in, when she's talking to Ainz just beforehand, it's very funny. Let's just say that it's very funny because, you know, uh, the, the source material kind of sets all of this up, but it's just very, very amusing. And it got a good chuckle out of me as well. So anyway, another dead end, huh? I don't know what kind of trap you've set for me this time, but you can bet your whiskers I'm going to tear right through it. Oh-ho! So willingly you walk into the trap. Plentiful resolve you do not lack, quite unlike the man with the elves I met once before. My master said I should fight you here. But not alone. Say hello to Death Knight. <laughs> oh, but not alone, of course. Hello there. Okay, that is a very, very scary boss. He doesn't do that much damage, though, thankfully, because I have a good amount of defense, and I've upgraded my Morning Star fully, by the way. So, yeah, that that was a, a pretty, pretty simple fight, because... Morningstar, amusingly enough, actually does a significant amount of damage. You wouldn't think so because it's basically a traversal weapon, but I really like it. I do not enjoy inflicting pain. It is time to end this. Alright, here we go. So this is the actual boss that we're now going to fight. And I've got to be really, really careful here. I don't really want to get run over by a hamster. <laughs> okay, well, thankfully, he doesn't do too much damage, and I can just continue to wail on him a little bit, and there we go. He has now been taken down. And now this is where we get an audience with Ainz himself. You're like some sort of wild animal. Hmm, at least I obtained some useful data. To think that you would defeat Hamuske so easily, even with Death Knight as her guard. Interesting. I don't see what's so interesting about it. Come now, don't be like that. I still have much data to collect. You will have to remain with us a little longer. <laughs> I mean, that's funny in itself. I mean, literally. Uh, furry little hamster being picked up by a very scary death knight. Oh, yes. Okay, so... Let me see. Is there anything else over here? Usually there's maybe an upgrade or something like that towards this area and a little bit of uh, more resources. And Ah, look at that. Massive amounts of collectibles too. Very nice. And we can also upgrade things if we want to. I mean, generally, I personally don't think you really need to upgrade that, that often. But I'm going to upgrade the winged rapier for the moment. I think that might be a pretty fun weapon to use, possibly. Um, you can use these forges as many times as you want, but you are going to need to relight the fire uh, using mana. So as long as you have the resources, you're going to be able to upgrade things as many times as you want. Which, in my opinion, is a very cool system. I like that a great deal. 
The Winged Rapier actually now does 39 damage, which is pretty insane. That's more than the Morningstar. But for me, I I like the Morningstar and the way that it, it attacks so much more than anything else I've used so far, which is actually kind of weird because I have so many different weapons. But anyway, this is one of the upgrade nodes. As you can see, Martial Arts Stride of Wind. Okay, so this is a completely new one, a new ability that we're going to be unlocking. You remembered how to use Stride of Wind, and then they're going to give us a little tutorial about that. Activate Stride of Wind by moving while holding down the corresponding button. Stride of Wind allows you to move swiftly and even walk up walls. Okay, that is what I like to say. see. Very good. So while Stride of Wind is active, you will be able to jump higher than usual. Look at how cool that is. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to really work too well for me. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, let me see here, hmm, okay, ah, I see, so I can just jump up, okay, yeah, okay, so I, I didn't actually need to run up the wall, yeah, this is what happens, you see, this is literally what happens when I get a new ability, I use it wrong for the first, I don't know, 10 times, and then after that, I'm all good, and then we know how it works, uh, who am I kidding, it's probably 20 times, right? probably 20 times anyway there we go we have now reached the dense forest upper and it allows us to run at high speeds oh yeah that is what i like to see very nice and now we can actually uh jump over these um these acid pits as well and look at that oh it's so nice it is just wonderful when you gain another kind of traversal mechanic in a metroidvania game and they're doing this really really well in my opinion I really, really like it. Okay, there we go. Look at that. And it's got such a nice flow to it as well. Let's see if we can do... Wait a minute. What's what's over here? Ah, it's a save point. Of course it is. Okay, so we're just going to save once again. And I, I'm actually... You know, <laughs> that's the funny thing. I, uh, I got carried away. I actually got carried away because I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just going to play and see how far I can get. And then I, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I've gotten, you know, I've gotten pretty far. And then I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm, I actually want to play more, you know? I actually want to play more, which is really, really funny. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. And, oh, no. There we go. All right. Ah, it's Entoma. Okay. Huh? What's a kid doing here? Oopsie, you found me. My name's Entoma Vasilisa uh, Vasil uh, Vasil Zeta. I'm in charge of this area. Huh, <laughs> let me guess. Another Pleiades? Um, do you think we can both just pretend we never saw each other? The hell? The Supreme One wanted me to gather data, but if we fight now, you'll be dead before I can collect any. And that would just ruin everything. Don't worry your little head over it. After all, it won't be attached to your body for much longer. Bye-bye. <laughs> and there she goes. Okay, so she's obviously going to be the next boss that we fight. I can assume. Maybe? I actually have no idea. Okay, so while Strider, is, Strider Wind is active, you can also slide, which is useful for navigating those narrow passageways. So like so, there we go. That's actually really, really cool. Oh, no. Get out of here, mushroom. Yeah, so these mushrooms are apparently paralytic. So have to be a little bit careful about that. Yeah, that's super nice. The amount of fluidity you're going to gain just from being able to jump up walls like so and then slide under them as well. That is real nice. I like it. Okay, so let's continue. Oh yeah, lizard men are one of the primary enemies on this floor as well, so do bear that in mind. Okay, there we go. Okay, wait, wait a minute. What's what's actually going on here? Why is there a, a wall that I can jump up? That's that's kind of strange. Okay, well, whatever the case, let's lockpick it and get through. Aha, another upgrade. Fantastic. Okay, let's do it. 
going to use 100 mana. We have a lot of resources right now. And uh, you can probably get even more, to be honest, if you explore a little more than I did. But I don't know. Maybe if you want to upgrade some more... Um, some more of your weapons and things like that, then yeah, that's definitely going to be something you'd want to do. Let me just try to avoid getting murdered by the goblins. I don't know why, but the goblins are always so incredibly... I mean, shall we say the goblin archers are so incredibly... Mm, not powerful, but they're annoying, <laughs> you know? They're really, really annoying with their volley of arrows that they tend to do. We can eliminate these ogres very quickly as well. There we go, there's a nice hit there. And there are a couple of reasons why we want to eliminate these guys. Because obviously, the more mana we get, the better. Because if we have mana when we pick up a new weapon, for example, then that is just perfect. That is exactly what we want. Let me actually just go back here real quick because you never know whether there's going to be something that I missed. Aha! Yes, there's a collectible. Fantastic. And we can now continue onward to the right. Aha, another save point. Okay, perfect. We have 22% of the memory fragments at the moment, so I'm not sure whether there are 100, maybe slightly more than 100 potentially. I think I might have picked up more than 20 by now, so yeah, that's probably that's probably it. And, oh, you get out of here. Yeah, so the enemy patterns as well. The enemy attack patterns, while you may think, oh yeah, these guys, they're super easy. I'm killing them all in one hit, right? Well, that's actually not strictly true. It's just a case of, well, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. And bear in mind, I am playing, I believe, on a lower difficulty as well. Because I generally just want to explore the world. I want to experience the story in the way that I want to experience it. And um, for me personally, I, I just love the world enough. I don't, I don't need... I don't need the game to be challenging or, or really, really difficult or anything like that for me to enjoy myself. And that's actually the reason why I really love this game. It's not too difficult, but it's difficult enough because I am, I'm trying hard, but I'm also being, I'm, I'm doing okay. You know, I'm doing okay. Oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> you know the reason why I was really careful coming up these stairs? Those spikes on the right there, these ones, you see those ones? They insta-kill you. Yeah, they insta-kill you. So I uh, I was being very, very careful about that. Let's try and get up here. Okay, there we go. That goblin went off the edge. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with him anymore. Okay, I've got to be careful here. There we go. Maybe not so careful. Maybe not so careful. I, I, I apparently did okay. Okay, so yeah, there we go. That has now cleared the path for us forward. And there we go. Sliding to victory. Ooh, there's another boulder up there. Oh, okay. okay. Woohoo, that was close. I thought I was dead there for a second because I almost ran into those guys. That would have been pretty bad. Oh, yep. There's me dead. There is me dead. But thankfully, the checkpoints are actually really good, in my opinion. The checkpoints are very forgiving. Sometimes they are not. Uh, there was one time where I died um, to something that was completely avoidable, and it was absolutely my fault. But, um, yeah, I died to something that was really, really stupid. And then I got put back quite far, but it wasn't too bad. You know, it wasn't too bad. So, yeah. Um, but generally, as I say, if, if this is one of your favorite franchises, for example, Overlord, you know, the Overlord universe, if you really, really like the universe that this is set in, then I really do think you have to give this a go really do think you have to um, but if not then maybe this is a way for you to get into the uh, into the universe and um, you know learn a bit about the characters and, and so on and so forth because it is fantastic I mean I I think it's fantastic and you know maybe you don't but I don't know yeah this is just one of those it's one of those things it's one of those guilty pleasures you know I just very much enjoy 
this and um, yeah maybe uh, maybe you will as well anyway we're gonna continue on down here and maybe just maybe find some more upgrades find some more weapons and find some more bosses and that's the thing i actually want to see what happens you know i i, I really do i want to see what happens i want to see what happens with the story i want to see what kind of characters we interact with and everything and uh hello can, can you get out of here <laughs> that guy was literally just he wasn't even trying to avoid me but i was just not even hitting him yeah i was doing a very very good job there as you can quite clearly tell ah yes fantastic Okay, so I'm going to need to run up here, jump, there we go. Ah, yes, okay. So these barriers, okay, so these barriers are a certain kind of magic. Um, this yellow one, I don't actually have the magic for at the moment, but I can assume that I will probably be getting it quite soon-ish, maybe. Uh, because I have the fire magic at the moment, and I don't have the, the yellow magic. I'm not sure what it's called. Electric? I guess, I guess it might be electric, because this guy's using electric magic against me or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, so that is going to be something... Wait a minute, I should really use fire here just to get this out of the way. Um, but yeah, so we can hopefully unlock fire magic, uh, not fire magic, lightning magic in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to need to jump on here. Boom, like so. And then jump off. And we can get out of there, activate that switch. And once again, gonna have to do the same thing. And... I'm just very thankful that I have a decent amount of fireball uses, because if I didn't, if I was using them to fight or something like that, then I would be in a uh, spot of bother. That is my last fireball use. So now I am in trouble if there is another bit of fire that I need to get rid of. I don't think, or well, should we say another bit of wood that I need to get rid of. I don't think that is the case. I think I should be, I think I should be fine. Ah, never mind. <laughs> we just gained some fireball uses back. Just in case, you know, just in case. I mean, that's, that's always nice. Always nice to have a little bit of, a little bit of insurance right there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, usually when the when the music stops as well, you can kind of get an idea that there might be something happening, a conversation or some kind of encounter. Builds the suspense a little bit as well, which I appreciate. Ah, there we go. Yes. So, this is the magic that we're going to be getting. And this will allow us to walk through these. Yep, acquired lightning. Fantastic. If you possess multiple kinds of magic, you will be able to switch between them. You are immune to magic of the same type as the one you have equipped. That's what they teach you when you first pick up the fire magic as well. So if I change here, I'm using a uh, controller, but you can use a keyboard to play the game. Um, I'm using the, I'm, I'm playing on Steam, obviously, but I'm using a controller. Um, so yeah, okay, lightning magic will protect you from lightning attacks and look at this boom i can just walk through this thing it doesn't do anything yeah it's fantastic love it but now now we're gonna have to be very careful because i have so far been just just chilling i haven't been really doing anything in regards to fire so if i see fire i'm just like ah yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't hurt me but now now it's going to hurt me, you know. Now it's going to hurt me. So, yeah. Now I have to toggle my magic, you see. So now I have to toggle magic. Okay, that actually hit me. Yeah. I need to... There we go. need to do it properly, like so. It's because my magic... Uh, my lightning magic was still on at the time. So that was the reason. So now I can do this. And I can just walk through here. And so on and so forth. So that's just... Uh, that's what's really cool about this game as well. They don't actually... 
they don't actually, I mean, they give you these messages, right? They give you the tutorial messages and everything, but they make it so that you then have to do it in a practical, a practical sense. And then that gives you a much greater understanding of what to do. So instead of just taking you through a very big hand holding session of, ah, oh, you know, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this in a 15 minute ordeal or anything like that. It's literally taking you 10 seconds and then you know exactly what's going on. And I actually really like the way that that, uh, that is handled. I like that a, a great deal. Okay, so now let me see here. Hmm, where do I need to go now? Well, there are boulders over here. These guys can't do anything to me anymore, by the way. Oh, these guys can, though. Okay, uh, now, okay, yeah, now we'll just jump over here. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll just burn myself with some acid. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to be fire at the moment. Yeah, the acid doesn't really do too much damage to us right now, so I don't really need to worry that much, but yeah. Thankfully, we have now passed that particular point. And there's another save. Fantastic. And, and we can also upgrade. Look at that. We can also upgrade stuff. But I don't really think I need to do that right now, so we're just going to ignore it for now. Ah, hello there. A spider? Is it dead? It It's still moving. Kind of creepy. Uh, hello there. Yep, there are two. That's fine. We can just use our downward attack with the Morning Star. Absolutely love that. This is dead. Yeah, so obviously this is Entomar's uh, biome by the looks of things. And uh, she is an insectomancer, so yeah, you can obviously kind of tell that, I guess, already. Oh, that goes through walls? Okay, I had no idea that that goes through walls, but thankfully this guy doesn't actually do anything to me anymore. I mean, technically, if he, if he wasn't standing in the doorway, then I would be able to open this without being uh, damaged or anything like that, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we're back here, because obviously... Wonderful Metroidvania design. Immediately you're going to be able to go back to where you were. And then you're not going to have any difficulties. Ah, okay, I'm really, really bad at these things. Okay, thorns. Better not touch them. Well, what am I supposed to do? Um, not that. That. Okay, so fire. Fire is going to get rid of the thorns. Luckily, I got there in time. I can pick up some more mana. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that? There's something down here. Look at that. I didn't even... Oh, there's some. There's a secret down here. I didn't even realize. Oh, okay. Oh, there's even a save point. Wow. They're being very generous with this secret room, even though I basically almost missed it. And there's a gate as well. Okay, so we can use 300 mana to activate the gate. And uh, I suppose, you know what? It's pro it is probably about time that we actually go and, uh, you know, play in the other biome at the beginning. So you can actually see a, uh, a character from the very start, possibly. Um, and we have just saved. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go. This is the first initial cutscene that you're going to be witnessing. And this is... <laughs> uh, yeah, in my opinion, I feel like the animations of the of the sprites, of the pixel, pixel art sprites, are actually really good. Um, I don't know whether that's just me because I'm, I'm a huge fan, but I think that it looks really cool. I know, I know, I know, pixel art is not going to be everyone's thing, but I can definitely appreciate how good these look. And, and look at the animations. Look at, look, at, look at Clementine right now. She's swaying her head and, and her hair is kind of moving with that. And, the, and then the capes that they're wearing, they're, they're kind of flowing in the breeze. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I, I really appreciate that kind of effort put into these animations. Anyway. You don't have a single martial arts skill, and you think you can beat the great Lady Clementine? Congrats, now I'm royally pissed off. 
Are you going to keep raving or actually do something about it? What? No way! You shouldn't be alive! I'm curious. How did you like fighting a sword-wielding magic caster? You bastard! What the hell? You're all bark. There was no need for me to fight a mongrel of your level, seriously. Even casting the weakest spell to defeat you would have been a waste of mana. Let go of me, you piece of- Stop your squirming. I forgot to tell you. Try as I might, I have a tendency to be hypocritical. And that's a nod, obviously. That's a nod to uh, the source material. Um, so it's a bit of a reference. And I appreciate it. But if you don't know anything about this, then obviously, yeah, there you go. And this is where we begin. So Clementine is obviously now waking up and she has no idea where she is. So, you are finally awake, if I can speak properly. Yes, indeed. Who's there? It has been a while since we last met, Clementine. Clementine? That sounds familiar. Is that my name? Hmm, it would appear your memories are yet to return. No matter. I am the one known as Eins Ulgaun. You are here to participate in a little experiment of mine. Uh, what now? An experiment. You stand in the great tomb of Nazarick. If you would rather it wasn't your final resting place, then I recommend you start heading up. What fate waits you, I wonder? Will you escape our clutches, or will you fall to my servants? I will be watching you with great interest. <laughs> and so, he's gone. Yeah, uh, yes, he's gone. Yeah, they, uh, see, Clementine said the same thing. What the hell was his problem? Anyway, guess I should start by finding myself a weapon. All right, so technically, you are supposed to go right, right? Yeah, you're supposed to go right. But I went left when I first played, and this is what, this is what I found. So there's actually one of those little barriers here that you need lightning magic to be able to get past. So that's actually really cool in my opinion. Also, you can use 300 mana to activate this, this door here. So if you want to, what you can do is you can activate this straight away, and then later on in the game, when you've unlocked more of the gates, you can basically fast travel straight here. So for example, in my other save, what I could do is I could go to one of those gates, I could transfer myself all the way back here now that I, now that I actually have lightning magic unlocked, and then I'd be able to open up this particular barrier. And that, in my opinion, is fantastic. I really like that. So yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're obviously just going to be moving on as the stiletto, and that is her favorite weapon, as we know. Wait. This is one of my stilettos. Yes, indeed. And now we have some basic enemies with which we can fight. And these are just regular skeletons. So now we are in the castle. And every single biome has a... Has a different traversal mechanic or different puzzle-ish platforming to do. So, for example, in the castle, it's these things. Yeah, these chandeliers. They are going to be swinging from you know, swinging to and fro, and you can jump on these and find items. 
This is obviously me just showcasing that there's actually nothing up there. And there's a uh, there's a healing. Um, it, every single time you go to one of these save game points as well, it's, it heals you for full. And there's a fire seal. So, well, how do we how do we get rid of the fire seal? Well, that's going to be easy enough, isn't it? Basically, we just need to make our way up and find fire magic. And it's going to be very similar to how we found the lightning magic, where we find the find the thing. You know, we walk into it, and then we gain the ability to be immune to fire and so on and there are a variety of different things that you're going to have to do to be able to progress and personally even if I didn't really know anything about the overlord universe I would still think that this is a really nice metroidvania experience and that's from someone that isn't particularly good at these games but for me, I, I have been enjoying it. Obviously, I am probably enjoying it a whole bunch more because I am an Overlord fan. But nevertheless, I'm getting super carried away here. And uh, there you go. There's our first upgrade as well. We now have 110 HP. We also healed ourselves to full uh, from that too. So yeah, but I have no traversal mechanics right now. I basically just have a dash. And we have the ability to grab onto ledges and things as well so for example i can do this and we can jump up here but there's obviously nothing up here but there are a lot of different ways that you can run around and look there's another collectible piece over there of the puzzle you know the memory memory fragments and things like that and there are even places that you can't go yet for example this area you have no idea how long in my original uh save that I spent here trying to figure out what it was that I needed to do. But obviously I wasn't really in the mindset of Metroidvania at the time. And uh, I was thinking to myself, am I doing something wrong? Do I need to find a special hidden switch or something like that? But no, 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 you don't. It is literally just a case of, oh, you're dead. <laughs> yes, you will just die if you jump down there this early on in the game. Later on, you are going to have the ability to traverse that particular place. And then you won't have any issues whatsoever. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool in my opinion. Anyway, um, that's going to be it, I guess, uh, for this uh, for this video. And uh, Overlord Escape from Nazarick is going to be coming out June 16th. And you can check it out through the link in the description. Highly recommended if you're a fan. And... Still recommend it if you're not, because it might very well pique your interest enough for you to check out the source material as well. And uh, yeah, it's great. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.